Here in the gate for the Gotham Mile. And they're off, and Kyle's our man. Jumps out quickly to the early lead. Dodge is also away in good order. Colonel Hill is there. Stately Wager is up close to the early pace. Then it's King Mutesa. Another review is only two lengths off the lead. Box for me is the early trailer as they leave the chute and head for the main track. Kyle's our man. Pressed on the outside by Dodge. Colonel Hill is right there, down inside, racing in third position. Mineral Ice is just in behind the lead fourth. Stately Wager, with clear running, is four wide down the back stretch. Then it's King Mutesa. He's under a snug hold, saving ground in behind horses. Another review is only four and a half lengths from the lead. Vouch for me is the trailer, and it's a tight pack chasing Kyle's our man over toward the far turn. The first quarter, 23 seconds flat. Moving past the half-mile pole, Kyle's our man, and Cordero is committed to the lead here. He leads by three-quarters of a length. Dodge pressing on the outside second. Colonel Hill trying to keep up. Stately Wager is put to a drive now on the outside fourth. They've run a half in 45 and three. They're moving toward the quarter pole, and it is Kyle's our man now who's beginning to edge away. He leads by two as they come toward the top of the stretch. Dodge is trying to stay with them, but he's dropping back three lengths off the lead now. And another review is coming with his run. Stately Wager has dropped out of it. Vouch for me on the far outside. Kyle's our man coming down to the eighth pole. He's pulling away with authority here. He leads by five. Another review now moves into second. On the outside, it's Vouch for me. King Mutes is putting in a late run, but they're not going to get to Kyle's our man who strolls in the Gotham wire to wire under Angel Cordero Jr. He wins it by four. And King Mutes Tessa was up for second, and now the review was third. Pick up uh, the horses as they uh, head round that far turn, and uh, Art Madrid tried to get to the lead with Dodge at this point, and Cordero riding uh, very confidently. He uh, does not even go to the whip at this point, takes a peek back to see if anybody's coming up the inside. Uh, because the inside of the track was uh, very, very good today. Here he's just vigorously hand-riding this horse and uh, just a tap or two to keep him going in the stretch. He got that final quarter in 25-1. and one. Uh, That's okay because he just completed three-quarters of a mile in 109-2. and two. Is this the look of a uh, Triple Crown winner? Don't know. But there's still time yet. But it certainly was a very a comprehensive victory today in the Gotham Mile. Well, you're taking a look there at uh, Angel Cordero Jr. and the famed Darby Dan colors. Of course, uh, good news for the Darby Dan folks, and uh, it's been a little tough lately for uh, the Galbraith family there, but Darby Dan Farm has a winner here today as you take a look at our unofficial winner of the Gotham Stakes, Kyle Zarman, heading back to the barn area out of the winner's circle for the first time since his last race as a two-year-old.